Hello, Beamer Gnome is back. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best fruits for grinding in Blocks Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the actor slam oh, there yes. is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so after this video, I would like to answer this question what is the best fruit for grinding okay so there are lots of fruits I have my own opinion and I know you also have your opinion guys so I suggest that we respect everyone that's why I made a list of my top three best fruits for grinding in this update so for my number three guys the portal fruit with gamer no is that fruit kind of weak so yes, I'm using a level 700 fruit, and as you can see, we can defeat this boss by just using one skill, and that skill is the Quantum Leap. Gamer now, why is this good for grinding, guys? Check the mastery requirement. It is only 100 mastery. Wait, what? Check this out, guys. Ice Admiral is just lying down. Okay, so we're just gonna defeat this one. Anyway, guys, aside from that, you can travel really fast, right? Using the World Warp. There you go. So we are going to head to the second C, and I'm gonna show you why I chose this one as my top three best fruit for grinding in this update, okay? So there you go, again. One good characteristic of it is it's really good for traveling. There you go. Just C skill and head to the middle town. Use your F skill, your Zoru, your Z skill, and your M1 to travel fast. That's, that's very convenient, right? Okay, now, off to the second C. Okay, here we are. So first, I'm going to show you the damage. Okay, the damage. So our target is the mercenaries. There you go. Level 725 mob. So first, we're going to lure, right? So this is the technique, guys. So again, using our quantum leap only, we're going to jump, get the ground, and make sure to let those mercenaries pass through the portal. So you need to hold yourself in the air. So use your Z skill, portal dash. And that's it. See that, guys? One more time. Okay, let's try it on the Swan Pirates. Level 775. So as usual, you're gonna lure. We're gonna lure 5, guys, okay? The problem here is the Swan Pirate has a long-range attack. So you will really get hit, but it's fine. Use your F skill. Hold your Z skill, Portal Dash. If you get hit, you will hit those enemies with that skill. Additional damage, and that's it. How about that, guys? Is it good? So, should we make a max level portal fruit? Comment it in the comment section. But, for those who want to know the full potential, here it is. My main account, max level. And I'm gonna show you the true power of this fruit. So again, F is skill. And that is enough. Guys, take note that I have max block fruit stats here. And I am also using Tail Scarf. There you go. Okay, guys. So let's try on the final mob here in the Chocolate Land. There you go. The Candy Rebels at 2375 level. Obviously, we're not gonna use our Human Awakening here. But what if we use it, right? Meaning the damage will be really high. But again, not everyone will get the Awakening. So let's focus on this one, okay? There you go. And boom. Guys, check that out. 100,000 damage. Okay, moving on. Number two. Obviously, guys, number two is the lava, or sorry, the magma fruit. Awakened, okay? Again, I'm gonna repeat, awakened. So the awakened Z skill is one of the best and most powerful skills in the game. Check that out. Again, take note, Z skill meaning this is the first skill that you will unlock. Mastery one, but again, you need to awaken it on the second C. Guys, check that out. Okay, we're gonna try it on another mob Let's go again let's lure okay so again if you want to make things faster just use your V and Z skill and delete that's an automatic delete on all the mobs here in the game except for the bosses okay one more time the final mob here in this island again one Z skill we're not gonna use the V skill okay F skill is enough there you go guys can you imagine the damage output that you can inflict with the human before awakening we're gonna try this one 
as you can see awakened with limit breaker stack at 100 plus so we're gonna try it on the captain elephant we're gonna start with the v skill check that damage out guys plus v skill oh my golly f and c skill total damage including the x skill is 76,000. check the hp more than half damage so you need to like do it again do the whole combo twice to defeat this boss so basically we're just waiting for the v skill to cool down and after that this is the end of this boss one drawback of this fruit is it is slow okay before we move on to our final fruit special mention guys the light fruit this fruit is one of the best in the first and second c but once you reach the third c there are lots of hockey users and this will be hard to use the final mob that you can use it, this fruit really good is with the ice cream chefs there you go this mob has no hockey but they're so far apart and there are so many obstacles in this area uh, this mobs might get stocked which will make the grinding a lot slower so i suggest if you have this fruit just grind with the peanut warriors you just need to learn four here use your m1s or your uh, skills guys this fruit is the best fruit to grind in the first c challenge me if you want is buddha if you want but i'm i can assure you guys if we're talking about the first c light fruit is the best fruit for grinding first c only okay first c only <laughs> And now for our top one fruit for grinding i know every one of you will agree most of you the buddha fruit so i don't care if this is awakened or not just shift and use fight styles okay so as you can see guys very easy left clicks left clicks and that's it magma fruit has more damage output but this is like the complete package okay wait but gamer no it was nerfed in pvp right guys just use sword okay fight style was nerfed in pvp but i think sword was not nerfed so there you go oh wait our damage is low wait okay no stats on the sword <laughs> anyway guys just unlock the gold race plus use this gold mask and you will be unkillable so let's try it on the beautiful pirate why gamer known because of the life steal so as you can see we can regenerate all the damage again m1 has no cooldown not like the uh, magma fruit there you go so you can regenerate your hp if you get damage guys again no need to awaken this fruit as long as you have the shift transform that's it so there you go guys again magma has higher damage output but it has cooled down okay so also your goal race plus goal mask will regenerate your hp guys i am getting hit here on purpose okay i'm not really trying to dodge there you go we're gonna defeat this one for sure also you can carry anyone on raids right so there you go guys complete package is the buddha fruit and before we end this video should be reach max level on the door fruit comment it in the comment section and again i hope that you learned something from this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out